Welcome to I Care, I Volunteer, a special series focusing on volunteerism in Peel Region. I'm your host, Jackie Vieira. Over the course of today's program, we'll be speaking with representatives from Volunteer NBC and Project I Care. Joining me now are Corrine Strong, the Executive Director at Volunteer NBC, and Sharon Clark Kufis, the Marketing and Communications Manager at Volunteer NBC. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you for having us. Of course. Uh, so, first off, uh, to be quite honest, it's the first time I'm hearing about Volunteer NBC. So, could you tell us just a little bit about uh, your organization? Sure, absolutely. So, we're fairly young, actually. We started uh, in 2008, September 2008, um, and it grew out of the need of um, a study that was done by United Way and uh, um, and the region of Peel to see whether there was a desire or whether there was really a need for a volunteer center and if so what would it look like and who would be uh, serve and and so um, it started in 2008 and um, uh, we've been growing steadily ever since so what we uh, what we do is we uh, we promote uh, and connect volunteers to meaningful opportunities in the community. So we have 185 somewhat um, organizations, community service organizations that are members and that we refer the volunteers to. So um, volunteers of all ages, so we, we target um, youth and a lot of youth volunteer with us. We have a lot of seniors that volunteer, a lot of newcomers that uh, typically use volunteering as a stepping stone to gain employment and to develop their skill sets um, and to get that Canadian experience on their resumes. So um, we've grown steadily and um, you know we started out uh, very very small in Mississauga and now we're located uh, in Brampton at Community Door. We're right across from the uh, uh, courthouse and um, uh, we're, we're located right in the midst of other community service organizations and it's it's been uh, so rewarding to see uh, the, the, the many many people that we have helped over the time frame um, to the point where last year we were able to uh, make 30,000 referrals across the region of Peel. Oh my goodness. And, and so is, what are some of the core services that are offered at Volunteer NBC? So as Karine mentioned, our referral matching service is our core service. Okay. Um, so we're able to do that in many different ways. We have our centers that people can come in and receive uh, in-person consultation. We also have an online volunteer opportunity database that people can go online and search for volunteer opportunities at any of the community service agencies that have promoted, uh, posted their volunteer roles with us. We also have an email service as well. So if people email us and are looking for specific roles, we can help guide them in that process. Um, in addition to that, we also provide training and education so for the community agencies uh, to help their volunteer coordinators and managers, giving them kind of some of the tools that they need to be able to engage volunteers meaningfully at their organizations. Uh, we also are starting to offer some of our newer training um, through our training service for ex service excellence um, for volunteers. So in terms of customer service and a AODA training, um, and we're also looking at some different ways that we can pr provide those trainings. So in person through our workshops and also through webinars. Um, we also do a lot of advocacy. So we're out in the community a lot. We're doing a lot of community outreach at the schools, um, at different types of volunteer fairs. Um, we're reaching out broadly to the, to the community to let them know that the Volunteer Centre is here to help and to be able to help them find a meaningful volunteer opportunity with one of our member organizations. And so obviously, uh, you know, volunteering, uh, having, offering all these services and, and programs, it, it's not cheap and you have to find funding somehow. So where do you go for, for that funding? So we're actually very, very support. We receive a lot of support and we're very fortunate. Um, we, we get um, the region of Peel is, is a big supporter, United Way. Um, we have uh, some Trillium funding um, from the Community Foundation of Mississauga, a huge supporter. Um, because you're right, you know, it's even though uh, we, we get that a lot, trust me, um, you know, uh, especially when corporate groups come in, um, what do you mean, you know, we are, you, you, it costs money, you know, we're offering our service for free, why, why is there a fee? Well, you know, it, it, typically in any organization, 
the, the more volunteers you engage, it, it definitely increases your capacity, but you need the people behind that to be able to provide the support, the training to the volunteers. So it's absolutely essential that um, the community as a whole recognizes the importance of, of funding um, the volunteer center. Okay, and I, I also, what are some of the benefits to volunteering? Because some people may not be aware that there are benefits to volunteering other than mm -hmm. helping others. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there are uh, the obvious ones absolutely where, you know, uh, for our different target groups, so we, we serve youth, uh, for instance, and for them it's all about being able to build their skill sets, exploring what their passion's all about, and being able to, to make that connection to you know, it's almost like a road test for them that were for their future careers, um, where they then can decide. You know, that the experience that they they've gained, they can use uh, towards their education. And it's also for them, it, it's it's absolutely wonderful to be able to um, to put that on their resumes and and to set them apart from the competition out there. And the same, you know, for for newcomers as well. Uh, for them, um, volunteering it becomes a huge component of being able. Um, to integrate, um, socially integrate, but as well, you know, integrate in, into the workforce and, and as being able to establish, um, you know, those networks and to, to gain employment uh, down the road. And you know, for seniors, um, you know, it becomes, an, and I'm, I'm a huge, huge believer of this, it's all about, um, you know, if, if you do good, you feel good. And there has been many, many research studies, and Professor Gottlieb at the University of, um, of uh, Guelph, he uh, particularly has um, done a lot of research, and um, there, there is so much uh, evidence that leads to improvement of mental health. Um, we've done our own studies, and in, um, in our last survey, uh, we were able to determine that 20, almost 23 percent of the population indicated that once they started volunteering that they saw improved mental health and the same for physical health as well and you know I, I can personally attest to that I, I've um, I'm a huge volunteer myself I always have been and I think it's it's almost a crutch that you can use that you can lean on uh, and I honestly believe that it, it actually makes you feel better um, I, I suffered uh, from cancer twice I, in recent years and uh, it's, it's really the volunteering that has kept me going and knowing that um, you know you, you, can, you can give back so much it, uh, it does wonders for your mental health uh, status, it really does. That's wonderful. Uh, and so I'm just wondering uh, if people are considering or unsure on the fence about it, just quickly, Sharon, if you could just tell us, what would you say to someone who is considering volunteering? I think come to speak with us. I think that's the most important part um, because our, we have a referral team um, comprised of staff and volunteers who are able to meet with individuals to really see what, what are they looking for out of a, a volunteer opportunity. Um, there's always got to be something in it for them. What is the return on their investment of their time? Sharing their talents. And so that's what we really try to help to them do is to go through the talents and skills that they have or passions that they have, or maybe skills that they even want to learn that we can help to try to match them to a, an organization that has a volunteer role or can create a volunteer role to be able to assist them in fulfilling their volunteer opportunity. Um, so I think that's really the most key important part is coming to speak to our volunteer centre. Um, we have the three locations that are available, so our Brampton location, our Mississauga Centre, which is right across from Square One uh, Shopping Centre, and our Caledon uh, location, which is up at the Caledon Public Library at the Albion Bolton Branch. Mm -hmm. So they can come and meet with us and, and we can certainly try to help guide them in that process. Wonderful. Well, thank you ladies for joining me today. And so right now we're actually just going to take a short break, but we'll be right back with more on I Care, I Volunteer.
Welcome back to I Care, I Volunteer. I'm your host, Jackie Vieira. Here with me now is Magda Kazmarek, the founder of Project I Care. Welcome to the show, Magda. Thank you very much. So first, Magda, uh, having not heard of Project I Care before, what is Project I Care? Project ICARE is a nonprofit organization that founded last year in December, so we are very new in the community. Um, I founded Project ICARE on the principles of engaging youth, uh, uh, at risk youth, and underprivileged youth into athletics and sports, giving them the opportunity to participate in the sports that they want to play. I work very closely with shelters in the community, uh, police department. I also am a partner with uh, district school boards where I go and present um, what athletics and how it affects the mental health of youth. Um, I believe that, I strongly believe that um, a healthy mind is a healthy body, so it gives also um, very high self-esteem of a person and very confidence and motivation of doing better and giving uh, youth a direction of uh, better life. So uh, you were mentioning that um, you know at-risk youth, uh, what parts of the community, is there certain neighborhoods that you target or is it all across Peel region? It's all across Peel region. Um, there's, uh, I believe that within the community of Peel there's different spots uh, um, in the in the in the, in the city that need the uh, need 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 for you there is a need for youth to participate into sports so there is no there's there's a spot like Burnham Thorpe and uh, Dixie area where there is there is a higher need where kids need to participate in sports. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's wonderful. Uh, how did it get connected? Project I Care get connected with Volunteer NBC. A colleague of mine, Michelle Cole, she also sits on the board for um, United Way of uh, Peel Region. She has mentioned to me that uh, they are a great uh, non-profit organization that connect different organizations within the community vo with volunteers. So uh, right away I made a phone call. I uh, presented uh, to Volunteers NBC of what Project Daycare is all about and they were more than willing and more very helpful of uh, connecting me with different volunteers. So it was a great help. Okay, and what is, uh, probably from your experience that you've seen, what has been the reaction among youth that get to take part in Project Eye Care? When I go to shelters to present of what, uh, what it is that I do and what, uh, how I can engage youth into athletics, very positive. There is, uh, there is a lot of uh, smiles on the faces where the kids can actually uh, find out that there is an organization that will engage them into sports free of charge where they do not have to worry that they have to go to work and make the money to participate in the sport. So it's uh, very rewarding and uh, it puts a smile on my face knowing that uh, I am of service to those kids. And, and so uh, what type of volunteer roles then are available? that uh, people can take part in, especially the youth, um, within Project I Care? Well, since I'm very new, there's lots of different opportunities with Project I Care. I currently am looking for a communication specialist, marketing on communication specialist, an executive assistant. Uh, since Project I Care is based on uh, sports and athletics, I will be also posting a position for a nutritionist, um, personal trainers, and um, aerobic instructors. Uh, where I would uh, give the opportunity to those volunteers to participate also and be a role model for the youth within different organizations and within like um, community centers where they go and uh, train the kids and uh, okay. be involved. Oh, that's uh, very interesting. So uh, just to go back, what, what actually inspired you to, to put this on? Um, me as a young child and coming from a, a European country, there was, a, there was a limit to those facilities. There was a limit of participating into the sports or of having the money to actually be able to pay uh, for what I wanted to do. So um, when I came to Canada and when I, uh, uh, growing up and uh, also having the opportunity and resources to give back to the community where I can actually show that those kids can participate and have a direction of life that will end better their lives in the future. Um, knowing that I have done it, it's a, gr it's, it's a great pleasure of doing so. Okay, and uh, why do you think, uh, I guess, volunteers are so important in taking part in this? Uh, they, they, are, they run the show. <laughs> they, are, they are the heart of the organization. They are the ones that putting their time for free uh, to give back to the community. So uh, their, 
they're the key. They're the key in the organization where they can um, be a role model as well to different uh, to, to the kids and to the organization where they can bring their skill set. Um, it's uh, without them, we wouldn't be running. So. Okay, and uh, g going over some of the programs and, and the, the athletics that uh, is offered, I guess, uh, for students uh, within your program, can you tell us what's, what some of it is, what some of the sports are? Um, I have uh, contracts with uh, gyms within the Peel region, uh, so the sports that I offer or the gyms that I offer, it could be boot camps, it could be MMA, mixed martial arts, uh, from uh, kickboxing to wrestling, so it's very, very fun for the kids. Um, it builds confidence for them as well. Uh, I can, I run myself uh, twice a week uh, boot camps uh, in uh, local community centers where the kids can participate and uh, get fit, get confident. <laughs> okay, and uh, when we, you mentioned uh, that you were looking for volunteers, I'm wondering where can people go to find out how to contact you or, or get in touch to see? My pos I post all of my positions with Volunteer MVC, so okay. they, they have all the data, and uh, if anybody wants to uh, apply, they would have to go through Volunteer MVC and uh, connect with me on that through, through MVC. Okay, and uh, so s since you joined Volunteer MVC, obviously they've helped you along the way, but how, how much have they helped you? Has there been have you noticed much of a difference? Oh, since right away, <laughs> right away. Uh, I just recently posted a position for an executive assistant that was done actually on Monday, and I'm getting responses already today. So that's perfect. And if I have any issues, any problems, I just pick up the phone. And the ladies at Volunteer NBC are very helpful. So they've been a very great help for us. Okay. and. Uh, and so we have, you know, we, we talk about volunteers, uh, I guess, it's, is there also opportunities for youth uh, to volunteer? Actually, I would like, when I, when I post positions, I would like vol uh, volunteers to be the youth, uh, students that are, that are going through a program of different business administration through college or university. Uh, my program runs for youth between ages 12 and 24, so anybody, I would like to get uh, youth involved um, to work with youth, so it gives more inspiration to the youth that I work with. Okay, so, you know, young, doesn't matter, boy, boys yes, and girls, no. all can... All genders, all races, we are open to different variety and different backgrounds. Well, that's so. wonderful. That's, I think that's a great that, that you've come up with this uh, idea, this initiative uh, put forward in, in Peel. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Magda, so much for thank joining you us. Much. And uh, so we're actually just going to take a short break, but coming up, we'll speak with uh, community engagement representatives from Volunteer MBC. But please stay with us after these short messages. Thank you. Welcome back to I Care, I Volunteer. I'm joined now by Community Engagement Coordinator Ebony Wright and Community Engagement Manager Shaminda Pereira. 
welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, your roles are involved in community engagement. How do you get members of the community involved, or interested rather, in volunteering? Well, the very first thing is through our online volunteer referral service. And uh, also, we have various programs that are geared towards uh, you know, t specific audiences. So through our programs, we invite anyone who is willing to volunteer to volunteer and be involved with uh, whatever the projects that they want to do. Uh, they can be engaged with uh, organizations who are already having volunteer positions uh, posted. Or if it's youth who are willing to, uh, you know, if they're passionate about a particular cause, they could create their own events and we will provide all the support for them to be engaged. Uh, when it comes to corporates, uh, when they have groups that they want to engage in the community, we are willing to help them out with uh, those initiatives as well. So uh, in terms of volunteering then, can anyone uh, apply to a volunteer or become a volunteer? Yep, so uh, anyone from any walk of life uh, can volunteer and uh, the beauty of our database is that for every volunteer role, so we have about uh, 250 volunteer roles available, it lists the duties. So um, it's a great way to explore, you know, if I volunteer with this organization, what will I be doing? Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, how do residents find a volunteer opportunity, let's say if they don't have access to a computer? Uh, they can make an appointment at any one of our locations uh, and meet with a consultant who can explore their objective strengths and interests. Oh, all right. And do you have anything to add? Yeah, and also if, they, uh, if they're comfortable browsing through our website and if they know what they really want to do as a volunteer, if they have identified what their objectives of volunteering, what their uh, strengths are and what uh, areas of interest that they want to be engaged with, they could uh, browse through our online uh, volunteer opportunity search engine as well. And like Ebony said, they could visit any of our centers. Uh, it's best to make an appointment so that we know for sure that we have a consultant available, but it is a walk-in service too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you obviously offer plenty of volunteering opportunities across many spectrums. I'm just wondering what are some of the roles, if you could um, tell us uh, what some of the roles are available for volunteering? Well, uh, we have a wide variety of roles out there. Um, like you heard from Sharon uh, in the previous segment, uh, we have over 180 organizations who are offering volunteer positions to the community, which means it's over 200 types of volunteer opportunities. Um, if you are passionate about youth engagement, we may have a position available for you over there. If you are passionate about uh, you know, helping older adults, uh, we have a volunteer position that may be uh, you know, related to that particular cause. Um, if you are passionate about dealing with people in the client and customer service type of uh, you know opportunities, we will have something for you over there. So it's actually it's a wide variety of uh, opportunities that uh, we can uh, offer to the community. So do you yourself volunteer? Yes, I do actually. I currently volunteer at uh, Catholic Family Services of Peel as a sister mentor. And um, at Volunteer in BC itself, uh, we have a few park cleanups that we do uh, each year. And I engage my daughter uh, in an opportunity, and she's in grade nine. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's oh, great. okay. And uh, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been doing it for about a year now. Yeah. Okay. I see. All right. And Shimada, how about you? My passion is. Uh, being there with youth when they are realizing their true potential. So I volunteer with our own youth group. Um, I uh, take care of them, uh, but it's actually they who run the programs. Um, and I've been doing that uh, since I joined Volunteer MBC itself. I see. And uh, what have you heard from volunteers, per se? Uh, what have they told you when they've come back from a uh, volunteering experience? Uh, I would have to say uh, they feel good. Um, also, um, meeting people, that's the greatest benefit, I'd say, even for myself as vol uh, volunteering. Um, you meet so many different people, you learn so much, and it's a great way, uh, if you're even exploring your, yourself, you want to know, you know, what can I do, what strengths do I have? Volunteering is a great way to be able to see what you can do and how you can apply yourself in the community. I see, okay. And uh, if people want, uh, I guess, perhaps more information about Volunteer NBC, is there a, a obviously a website or phone number that they can reach you? 
Uh, yep, there is our uh, website. Um, there is a phone number as well. Uh, but on our website, we have a volunteer opportunity request form. So uh, someone who uh, may not want to make an appointment um, can easily enter their information through the volunteer opportunity request form. And in our referral unit, uh, we take about three to four business days to get back to the person with a few recommended opportunities. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, I'm wondering, uh, Shaminda, do you know of any uh, perhaps specific uh, volunteer or perhaps uh, an interaction that uh, you've heard about or you were yourself involved in um, that you would like to share with us? Well, I'm going back to our youth group, which is the Step Up Youth Volunteer Ambassadors. And the it's a group of youth who's coming together to create events and to be engaged in the community but they are volunteering because they're providing their time and effort and uh, all they need to do is to get connected with us and say I want to volunteer with the Step Up Ambassadors and we'll connect them with the group and um, the meetings take place uh, you know um, every month they're on the fourth Friday of every month and so likewise the more they're engaged with the group the more they create events the more they participate in the events whether it's our youth group or any other organization the more they get engaged the more they are connected with the community and they gain the benefits of volunteering okay and uh, what sectors would you say perhaps need more volunteers uh, I would have to say the most in-demand volunteer opportunities that I found are um, office admin um, event volunteering and um, any volunteer opportunity that relates sort of to social services, so like mentoring, um, uh, homework help, uh, things like that. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, and so when you say uh, events, uh, what, what exactly? Um, so a lot of uh, youth especially uh, do look for uh, one-time event opportunities um, because of the short commitment but also they can bring along their friends so uh, event volunteering is usually there may be an event that um, an organization needs help with preparing or even to be at the event helping t with uh, customers or even taking down after the event so those type of event volunteer opportunities okay um, all right and do, Shimina, do you have anything you'd like to add on that? Or? Yeah, and uh, see, the events could take in many shapes and forms. It could be events where there are informa informative, uh, you know, conferences and well, fairs, sort of, or it could be even in the areas of, uh, you know, entertainment. Um, or like during the Canada Day, the city of Mississauga, and also in Port Credit, there were many events that were uh, taking place. So any event that is out there in the community, trying to engage the community, Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, so on your screen, you'll find information about Volunteer NBC where you can look for any opportunities. And I'd like to thank you both for joining me today and thank all of my guests for joining us today. And uh, please join us next time on I Care, I Volunteer.